hi guys so welcome back to another video so as you can see by the title of this video we are going to be reviewing the huda beauty uh, full filter skin foundation it is this one and i did pick this foundation up from uh, the arc store at mainland mall i did decide to go with this formula because it is the recommended one for dry skin the other one is a matte foundation and I wasn't sure how it was going to sit on my skin. So guys, this foundation did cost me 650 Rand. It is a 12.5 gram foundation. This is a stick foundation. Um, I've never ever tried out a stick foundation before so this is going to be my first time. Um, I don't like the idea of it. I don't know why but um, I prefer foundation in a liquid formula So we're gonna see how that goes uh, This foundation did cost me 655 Rand uh, Which is on par um, with most high-end foundations in South Africa I think MAC at the moment is 550 around that price so yeah it is okay it is a small bottle you guys so um i will see how long this lasts me i am in the shade 320 tres Lashes. i think that is how you pronounce it um guys i'm just gonna leave the name of this foundation on the screen um it's like i was sabotaged like they knew that I was going to do a video of this foundation and they decided, okay, let's give her the most difficult name. Um, yeah, I don't even know what language this is in. So guys, I am on the Huda Beauty website. What better place to get product information? And I'm going to read out the product information. And it says a flawless felted finish. The creamy stick formula melts into the skin for a natural felted finish that lasts up to 10 hours. Whether you prefer full coverage or barely any at all, this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion. Swipe it on and build it up. The stick formula is ideal if you're on the go or in a hurry. And thanks to its long wearing waterproof humidity and sweat resistant formula, you can set it and forget it for the rest of the day so it says i think yeah it is it is a medium coverage buildable foundation and it, um it has a natural finish and um the new formulas are fragrance free uh vegan non-comogenic waterproof and 10 wear uh yeah 10 hour wear Okay guys, so let's go ahead and try this foundation on. I am going to be using a primer because um, I think that it is only fair to do that. Um, I do use foundation with primer, so um, let's just do it that way and give this foundation a fair uh, chance. I'm going to be using this one from Revlon. So guys, this is the first time uh, that I'm going to be using this foundation except for uh, finding my shade in store. So this is a first impression. As you can see, your foundation must come in a sealed box and then it is a stick foundation. It is a, a black bottle with um, a clear, okay, half the lid is clear and um, yeah, it has the Huda Beauty logo um, in the front um, and then it is just a stick foundation. So there was some directions on the packaging so let's just go ahead and see what it says. It says for light medium coverage apply to face and buff out with your favorite sponge or brush repeat to build coverage as needed. For full coverage, swipe foundation directly onto a gent flat brush. 
and apply to base blend foundation uh, outward and repeat until desired cover so this is a buildable foundation so let's go ahead and try it on i'm going to be applying this foundation straight onto my skin and uh, guys i'm just going to be applying this with a brush i am not going to be using a beauty blender because i do not apply foundation that way and um, this foundation is expensive so i'm not about to waste it so let's go ahead and see uh, the guy that helped me with foundation really struggled to find my shade you guys um i think he tried on three foundations um before we found this one i just wasn't happy with it um i know that i do have a bit of an olive uh, undertone so maybe it was that but yeah it was a bit of a struggle i did go to Menlin uh, mall in pretoria i'm gonna be going in with my m39 morphe brush and going in with stippling motions so guys i have been wanting this foundation for a while now um and i do have really high expectations because it is huda but i will as always be giving you my honest thoughts on it okay first impressions um this is a light foundation i'm going to be going in with a second layer i think it's just the makeup artist in me that does not like um stick foundations but um yeah i'm sure you could go in with a brush you could apply this with uh first with a brush before putting it onto your skin uh but this is my personal foundation i will not be using it on anybody else or clients or anything like that yeah so i don't think that i went in with enough foundation the first time around no it does look quite nice so I did also pick up the baking and setting powder from Huda Beauty. So let's test this one out as well. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some concealer quickly and I'll be right back. I did get the baby bake. So this is like a travel size one that I really wanted to try out. But I didn't want to buy the full one because it is quite expensive you guys. Do I open this? Oh, she's fancy. Oh, wow, there's a sponge in here. Okay, that's really cool. And it does have a seal. Oh, wow, guys, I had no idea that there was a sponge in here. Let me close this up and... Um, okay, this thing is too fancy for me. Let me close it up. I just want to tap some out. I did get this in the shade Banana Bread if you are interested. Okay guys, this is really cool. So Huda Beauty and a packaging always wows me. It is um, really nice packaging all the products that i do own are really really nice i'm gonna be first applying this to the under eye area okay let me try it with the sponge this is gonna be a really nice product to travel with you know when we travel we always forgetting something well i do so at least this has a sponge. I really like this. There is a slight fragrance coming through, but I know there are a lot of people that 
complain about the fragrance in the products i think they have toned it down a lot okay guys i'm gonna go ahead complete the rest of my makeup and i will be right back i'm back and i did finish up the rest of my makeup the time right now is 27 minutes past 12. I'm going to be trying to wear this makeup uh, on for you guys for as long as possible. Just as my first thought, I do really like how the foundation is looking on my skin, especially after finishing up all of my makeup. It does look quite good and so far I am really happy with it. But uh, guys, I'm definitely going to be checking in with you guys throughout the day. did also get good feedback on my first foundation review. And I know that finding a good foundation is a challenge. So I decided to um, continue to do these reviews for you guys. Thank you for your feedback. And it is a Saturday and I have a few things to do. Uh, so we'll see how this foundation wears out and I'll talk to you guys a bit later in Hey guys, so I am back The time right now is a quarter to four So I decided to do this portion of my check-in in the car Because I wanted to see the foundation in natural lighting um, It is still looking quite good I do, uh, however, see a bit of my natural oils peeking through on the forehead area and um, pigmentation around the mouth area. But that is my fault because I should have went in with color corrector beforehand. So uh, just know that this is a light coverage foundation and you would need to color correct if that is one of your problems beforehand but guys it still looks quite good um yeah it still looks quite good i'm quite happy with it and i will be checking in with you guys a bit later i'll see you later guys hi guys so i'm back to give you my final thoughts on the huda beauty foundation um i do have a different hairstyle because the one that i had earlier was literally giving me a headache but before i forget let me tell you what time it is the time right now is 9 39 so i had this foundation on for about nine hours um, let me get my mirror so that i can have a closer look so guys, I do see my natural oils peeking through. I think I could have done a better job of setting my makeup. It was a really hot day as well. Um, guys, I had a full day. I've been out in the sun. It's been really hot today. I also have worn a mask. And like I did say earlier, I do see the pigmentation around my mouth area. So next time I wear this foundation, I'm definitely going to be going in with color corrector. Uh, this definitely is not a medium full coverage foundation. So yes, if that is your problem, please do go in with a color corrector before it. But overall guys, for wearing this foundation for 9 hours, it still looks really good. I mean, I could touch up with powder and I would still be good to go for a few more hours. So I'm really happy with this product. It definitely was a good buy. I do think it is a bit expensive for a small bottle like this. So I'm curious to see how long it lasts me. And then I'm also really, really impressed with the um, baking powder also looking forward to baking and playing around with this product more but yeah guys both these products uh, really impressed me they did live up to my expectations if you are interested i highly recommend that you go and get your color matched at an arc store so that you know that you are getting your correct color i'm so happy with my color match I think that it is the perfect um, match for my skin tone. Guys, I also did take 
pictures and it looks really good in pictures i didn't get any flashback or anything like that so yeah really happy and really impressed by this foundation and i'm definitely looking forward to wearing it more but yeah guys thank you for coming and thank you for watching please do comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and i'll talk to you in my next video bye guys